everybody welcome to another photoshop cs6 tutorial my name is buddy blackford today we're going to go over how to create a path using the freeform pen tool it's pretty easy and uh, it's got some cool features that i wanted to show you so let's go ahead and get started so open up a, a new uh, document just a blank document and uh, have a like a background layer if you want it can be anything just a plain background layer is the easiest to follow go ahead and go to over here to your pen uh, tools over here and select freeform pen tool and you can see P is the shortcut come up here and make sure you're set to path and we can go ahead and get started so all you need to do to start using this is click and drag and you can go ahead and draw any shape that you want and just like the other pen tool the regular pen tool you can close up your shape when the cursor comes to a circle and you have created a path now if you look over here in our path section that's where your work path is going to be now you can see that this doesn't look really like what i just made it's uh, got some jaggedy edges and if i click on it with my path selection tool you can see that there's a bunch of different points that it has made well we have some control over this where we can make this smoother if we want and uh, less smooth if we want as well so let's go back to our freeform pen tool and I'm gonna go back to where uh, I don't have anything going on here let's go into our options here and we see this called curve fit and if you watch the uh, tutorial about making a selection into a path this is just kind of like the tolerance and this controls the complexity of your path so the values can be set from 0.5 to 10 where um, the higher value the less complex the path aka less anchor points and the lower value has a more precise but more complex path so let's go ahead and change this up to 10 and let's go ahead and draw again and close it up and you can see it tries to make the path let's click on it and we see what we've got going on here now we've got some of these uh, edges here that aren't very aren't like what we've uh, wanted they're a little too uh, there's they're a little too what do you call it sharp and uh, we can change that if we go to our direct selection tool select them we've got some uh, handles here and we can make the uh, the edges a little bit nicer. If you click on it again, you're going to get two handles. And now if I look, the edge is a lot smoother. But what uh, the main thing I was trying to show you is that now we have less points. We put the uh, curve up to 10 and uh, less points here for a less complex path. Well, let's go ahead and make a path with it set to 0.5. So let's go back to make layer all right let's go to our freeform pen tool set this to 0.5 let's see if that worked yep 0.5 uh start drawing things i think this might have been kind of like what i made last time and i didn't make that right i didn't close it and you can see what's going on here I click on the tool you can see there's a lot more points now and it gives us uh, nicer curvier ed edges because there's more points involved um, one thing when you're working with uh, vector shapes if you feel like you're going to have to edit your shape later and uh, mess with it a little more you don't want to have as many points because you have less control over it when you have uh, more points so if I try to mess with like this section right here it's going to be hard let me uh, go to my direct selection tool and i wanted to maybe move this around so it looks nicer oh direct selection my bad let me select again now i got to move every single one of these points and you can see i'm getting some jaggedies and it's really annoying if i only had just a couple of points oops my bad if I go to here and delete anchor point tool to delete some of these anchor points out of here 
go to my selection tool. This is getting a little more advanced than I was thinking of in the tutorial. Now I can move that section a lot easier. There's no but there's not a lot of jagged edges and it's just easier to edit when you have less points. So that's uh, what I wanted to show you about the freeform pen tool. In the next tutorial, we're going to use the freeform pen tool as well. But let's go to it real quick. There's this magnetic box right here. And I'm going to show you how to use that because it kind of makes it into a whole new tool almost. So let's uh, do that in the next tutorial. So stay tuned and check it out. And you'll learn some more cool tips. So see you guys later in the next tutorial. I look forward to seeing you there.